So AMS weighs 15,300 pounds. Um, most of that is science experiments. We do not have to carry our own power. Uh, we do not have to carry our own data systems to transmit that data back to Earth because all of those systems are provided to us by the space station. It's a perfect example of how you can utilize the, the capabilities of the International Space Station to fly groundbreaking science experiments. So how exactly does the AMS work? One thing it is not is a telescope. Telescopes measure photons, packages of light, both visible and invisible to the naked eye. This type of astronomy has given us most of our knowledge of the universe thus far. But the cosmos speaks to us in languages other than light. For the AMS, this will be the first time scientists study charged particles, exploding stars and other celestial phenomena are thought to produce cosmic rays which travel across the universe and can wash up on the shores of our planet. The rays are composed of charged particles, but many of these are absorbed in our atmosphere, making it impossible to study them on Earth. But outside our atmosphere, on the space station, the AMS will be able to sift through these particles, helping us search for antimatter, dark matter, and the stuff of which the universe is made. A particle will pass into the AMS. Layer upon layer of detectors tells us the mass, energy, and velocity of the particle. Other detectors tell us which direction or path the particle took as it passed through the AMS. At the heart of the unit is a magnet that will make the particle curve one way or another, telling us whether it is matter or antimatter. And just how quickly does all this particle detection happen? Faster than I can snap my fingers. Uh, nanoseconds. In nanoseconds. AMS gathers data at a ridiculously large rate. Um, we will see about 25,000 hits per second of cosmic rays coming into the aperture of AMS. If, while sifting through the cosmic sands, the AMS strikes gold, Two star trackers on board the experiment will help scientists determine from where in the universe the particle came. The AMS can send its volumes of data utilizing the station's communication link with Earth. Teams of scientists all over the world will study that data, looking for particles of dark matter, antimatter, and the unknown. So what will we find? Nobody knows. In the science of particle physics, anything is possible, and often the quest for one answer instead reveals another discovery not dreamed of. If the cosmos is the ultimate particle accelerator, it should provide plenty for the AMS to analyze. The experiment will stay on board the space station for as long as the station is in orbit, silently sifting through the particles helping scientists find those missing pieces to the puzzle of our universe, and perhaps finding something new for us to explore along the way.